Hello little artist, I'm Mariana Olson and this is my channel where you're gonna learn how to draw easy and step by step. Today we're doing a spring picture. Are you ready? Let's do this! Okay, we're gonna need paper, something to color with, I'm using markers, and something to draw with. I'm gonna use a black marker but you can change this for pencil. Okay, we're gonna start on the bottom of the paper. This time we're gonna take all the space, okay? So, we're gonna start on the bottom, right here, and the first thing I'm gonna do is a leaf, it's gonna be big. So, my left hand is pointing to the center of the paper, I'm gonna start right here, and I'm gonna put a little dot so you can see where I'm gonna start. And from this point, I'm gonna go down with a curved line, just like this, and now I'm gonna go down, as I'm getting down, I'm getting far apart from the other line. Now, we're gonna go uh, in the middle to put in a line, and I want to do lines to the sides just to make it look more like a leaf. Just like that. The next thing I'm going to do, now I want to put my hand here again on the center and I'm going to go up here. I want to do a flower. So to my flower I want to start with an oval shape and it's going to be quite big. And around this oval shape I'm going to do a few U shapes and these U's are upside down okay so I'm gonna start going just around the oval shape and I'm gonna try my best as these ovals or these U shapes are kind of like the same size if they are not don't worry about it we're gonna do just our best to try to make it look even I want to put two more just to close the space and then that's it Perfect. Now let's do the stem of the flower and I'm gonna go with a curved line to the left just from this space I have right here and I'm gonna do a double, okay? There. Now I'm gonna go from this point, here is my center again, and now I'm gonna go to the right and I'm gonna do a leaf and it's going pointing up. So let's put a little dot right there so you, you know what I'm doing and make sure that you leave a space up here okay so from the point let's go down with a curve line and now let's go here up again and down there I want to do here uh, right here uh, next to the flower let's do a B and I want to start with the head it's a circle and behind the circle we're gonna do kind of like a half a circle or half an oval shape Inside, we're going to put two lines and a pointy part for the hornet on the back. On the top, I'm going to put two U-shapes, upside down letter U's for the wings, and this one is just halfway, okay, it's behind the first one. Let's put two antennas, and for the face, I'm going to do here two little dots and a smile. You can change the face if you want to, that's okay. Now let's continue here. In behind this leaf I did here, I'm gonna do a stem that go up. And so I'm gonna start from this point going up and I'm gonna stop right there. Now, before I continue with that, I'm gonna do here a ladybug. For my ladybug, I'm gonna start again with a circle for the head and it's smaller than the bee. Now I'm gonna do two half a circles inside and two little dots for the eyes and a teeny, teeny, teeny smile. Now let's do half a circle in behind his head. And inside we're gonna do the spots and they are gonna be half a circles that go around his body. We can put a circle in the middle. And we are gonna color this after, okay? Not right now. Then we're gonna put the antennas and I'm doing a curve on the at the end. And the legs are just four little uh, straight lines. I want to finish this little um, branch that I did here and for the leaves I'm just gonna do uh, kind of like upside down letter U's. I'm gonna do this all the way down and this part go fast but you can stop the video anytime to catch up, okay? Let's now continue with the left side. Let's go on the left. 
And here I'm gonna do, I wanna leave a little bit of space and I'm gonna do a leaf similar to where the uh, ladybug is standing. So my center is here, my leaf is gonna reach this point. I'm gonna put a little dot and I'm gonna start from the end of the paper and going to the dot. And now let's go back, okay? Just like that. See, it's similar to the one the ladybug is standing up. And in this one, there is gonna be a little ant. So let's start with the head, it's a circle. Now let's do two more in behind for the body. Now let's put here just two dots and a smile just like I did with the bee. The legs are four legs, just four little lines. And let's put antennas, the same thing. Good. In behind this ant is gonna be another little branch. And you can make this long as, as I am doing it, or you can do it smaller, that's okay. And I'm gonna copy the same leaves that I did in the other one, it's the same idea, okay? Now let's go on the bottom, and I'm gonna repeat the same step that I did here, here. So I'm gonna do a little dot right here. And from the dot, remember, we go down with a curved line. And now I'm going to the other side, the same thing. And in the middle, we're gonna put a line. And now let's do the lines that go to the sides, okay? I'm just going curved lines down. There. Now here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put here a little um, grasshopper. So let's just start with the head. It's a circle, and in behind, I'm gonna do kind of like an oval shape. And this is a little like, kind of like leaning to towards the leaf. I'm gonna put two antennas. And the legs are gonna be in behind. So one triangle here. Now let's do another triangle in the front, and it's okay if it cross the line. And I put a little bit of a, a feet here. You see a little curve? For the front legs, they're straight lines, kind of like diagonal lines on the front. The eyes are half a circles on the sides of his head. And let's put two little dots here inside for this grasshopper. And you can even put a smile there. Let's continue on the right side. I'm gonna do a stem to go up, and here I wanna do a flower. So here's my center, here's gonna be my the center of my flower and I'm gonna do a circle. Now I'm gonna do the petals very similar to the flower I did on the top. And I'm just gonna go here on the top. Now let's put one on the bottom. And let's try our best to make them the same size. I'm gonna put one here next to this one, one next to the one on the top, and I have room in each side to put one more. So let's put one here and let's put another one here. And if your flower don't look exact same as me, it's okay. You, your flowers I'm sure look beautiful. Now let's go down with the stem and I'm gonna repeat the same idea here that I did here, but this time I'm just gonna put them kind of like in a zigzag, okay? Kind of like one side each going down there. Now let's jump back on the left side and here I want to show you how to do a different kind of flower. So let's do a line to go up and now let's put three little lines kind of like uh, one in each end and one in the middle and now let's do an upside down letter U at the end of those lines and three little U's uh, on the bottom to close it like look. We're gonna repeat the steps one two three Let's do it again. Curve side, one, two, three. There. Let's do the last type of flowers down here, okay? So I wanna start doing circles. I wanna do a circle really close to this flower right here. My other circle is gonna be close to this leaf. And the last circle is gonna be down here. Now for the petals, we're gonna do kind of like let her use all together. And I'm putting four in this one. Maybe I wanna put five in this one. 
and on the bottom one let's repeat the same steps and now let's just do lines that go down for the stems and I want to do little leaves so I just want to put one here with a line in the middle and probably one more that I have room right here and the last step I'm going to mark some lines in behind we're going to do a curve line that goes from here down now from this point I'm going to go in behind this flower and you can go and you can touch the lines of the other flowers just going behind or you can skip this step if you want to we can we can color it at the end this line is going to go behind this leaf so you go behind and behind and go down and there that's it we finished this spring picture i hope you like this lesson and now my favorite part is coming let's color Okay, little artist, that's it for today's video. Here is where you can see all the colors I used. Also, I put some um, blue on the background just to make it look like the sky. I used lots of different tones of green. I used darker colors here for the back. And I also add some curves. You can do that too, or you can just leave one plain green on the background. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to see more lessons step-by-step step like this one. See you next time!